Hey guys, OJ Albine here, bringing you guys another TCG related video. Today we're going to be opening up actually a really cool box. Um, Shiny Star V is a new Japanese set that recently came out in obviously Japan and they have a ton of really, really cool cards. Um, and like over, I think it's like 127 shiny cards, which is so cool to me. So I honestly, uh, maybe not in the best, uh, you know, not the best move, but I, uh, I bought a box of it. It's going to be 10 packs of Shiny Star, uh, Shiny Star V as camera's not the most focused. I I'm trying not to do it to where it's, um, you know, kind of like my face cam on thing. Um, very excited to open this. They have a couple amazing rares in here. Um, a bunch of shiny Pokemon and uh, potentially that shiny Zard, which would be awesome. There's also a chance to pull a God Pack, which is a 1-600 chance to pull yourself um, a pack that has all shiny Pokemon in it. And I think the Japanese packs actually have a guaranteed V in it as well. So it should be a good time. And um, hopefully we can open it on up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and um, try and get this open. I'm going to open this part off screen. I'm going to do this as quick as I can because I'm actually fourth wall break and I'm supposed to be playing my NCP Week 4 match here tonight against the John Jr. I actually really like this box too. This is really cool. Um, so here's the box again. Uh, you know, plenty of the shiny Pokemon sitting here on screen, which is obviously really, really cool. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to open this. I think it's just just like this um and then we what we can pop this out i think no i'm just gonna leave it it's all good it's all good so ah excuse me while i completely mess this up let's just dump it out let's just dump it out so there's gonna be the box um we have it pretty much all set up here and again there's going to be 10 packages of the shiny star v which is again super super awesome i'm doing my best to keep this in camera frame for you all it might be a little bit blurry so i do apologize if that i'm not the most experienced when it comes to this um and yeah let's go ahead and jump right in um i don't know if these are the same way you i don't know if you open these the same way you open the uh the american packs where it's yeah it looks like it just i got a finicky pack for pack one let's try this one So, it's giving me a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble indeed, but it's all good. I might end up cutting this part out because this is embarrassing how long this part in particular is taking. Maybe I should have tried to figure out the way to open these beforehand. the opening. Okay, so here's going to be our first pack. Um, accidentally opened that a little bit scuffed, but it's all good. I love the back of these cards as well. Um, I think the back of the Japanese cards look so much better. I'm going to put the code card over to the side because I think I want to try and use those. And let's go ahead and uh, start looking at these. So we have a Dewblade, Blip Bug, Coughing, uh, Pulte guys, ball guy, a shiny Nicket in the first pack. This is actually a really, really pretty shiny. Uh, let me try and find the webcam a little bit more. Very, very clean. We're gonna have Stonjourner, Cinderace, a V and Didi, and then a Pink Urchin. So let's go ahead, throw these off to the side over here. We're gonna grab the next pack. And hopefully get these going a little bit better. I have, a, I have a little, like, nail filer thing that I'm using to, like, really, like, at least, like, loosen the hole in which the, uh, there's the little opening. So, it's gonna be a little bit of a scuffed opening again. I wish I was more experienced in the card opening game than I am, but unfortunately, we're just not. We get a little bit cleaner of an open right there. Pull it off to the side, and let's go ahead and keep on looking. Dedene, Spinarak, Japanese words I cannot read, and Energy. We have a reverse hollow, or no, a hollow, um, what do you call it? A full art Marnie and a Toxtricity VMAX. These cards are actually really, really pretty. I really like the, and it's like the uh, um, Galar Star Tournament Marnie as well. And then obviously 
the Japanese Toxicity V Max. Not the shiny version of it, but it's all good. Can't complain, can't complain. I'm totally here for that, actually. And I just don't have the nails to open these packs, man. Not have the nails to open these packs. Okay. There we go. So, we're gonna go ahead and keep opening it up. I wonder how valuable that Marnie card is. That's really dope. I actually, earlier today, I bought some packs off stream and I, um, you know, an American pack, and I pulled a, um, a full art rainbow rare, um, Marnie. So, let's go ahead and keep on looking. We're gonna keep on just flipping through these cards because at this point, we might as well just get to the cool stuff. We're gonna find an amazing rare Gaveltal, which is super sick, and then a V Eternatus. Super, super here for that. That's actually super clean. I love the amazing rare arts. Um, I'll probably flash it up on the screen after I jimmy this one open a little bit. Okay, cool. So we are gonna get that back open, but I, I do just wanna appreciate this shiny star V. I think this looks awesome. That's very, very cool. Okay. So, let's go ahead and try and get this next one open. So, we're gonna get that one open pretty scuffed, but... It's all good. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Put the code card off to the side. And let's go ahead and start looking. Ghastly, Wulu, Energy, Minchino, some Gym, Ice Q, Sicky Cheese. We're gonna get the V Ditto, though, which is actually very, very cool. Um, this is actually a new card, I believe. Um, a lot of this uh, set is going to be reprints, but that is one of the few new cards, which is gonna be super, super clutch. So, very, very cool right there. Very, very cool. So, we're gonna try and get this one open again. Again, I apologize. Thank you for sitting with me, guys. It's just a little bit annoying trying to get these, and when I'm not focused on, like, getting it in cam perfectly, it's just a little bit easier for me. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so... I want to make sure I do it right, uh, even if that means doing it off screen. So let's go ahead and look through Eldegosh, Dreadnought, Water, Shiny Sobble, which is actually super, super cool looking. Very, very cool shiny, actually. Uh, we're going to get a Boss's Orders. Oops. Um, uh, Ascent to Scourge VMAX, which is awesome, the full art. And uh, yeah, so we full, pull our second shiny of the day. So far, we have a, um, what do you call it, a Nicket and a Sobble. Which is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and keep on a trucking. So we get the next one open. So let's go ahead and split this guy. Awesome. So let's go ahead and keep going. And I think it's so cool how they have a guaranteed shiny in these packs as well. Um, glare in your mask, ducklet, sandaconda. Big ol' entry. Shiny Corvus Squire. So it's gonna be our third shiny of the day. Look at those sparkles go. Mr. Fish, Hoopa Unbound, and then a V Tox Tristy. So we got the V Tox and the V Max Tox. No, neither of which shiny, but we got the shiny Corvus Squire, which is actually a very, very clean shiny. I love me some shiny Corvy. Um, Corvus Knight, that is, but I guess Corvus Squire is you know, the next best thing right behind it. Uh, so I'll definitely, definitely take that. Uh, and we're gonna try and again get these open by us not being great at it. Uh, I apologize, I'm just gonna use my little tool. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see me doing that on the camera, but it's all good. Um, full transparency here, I just don't have the finger strength to do it, apparently. Uh, so let's go ahead and start looking. We're gonna have a more Pico, Silicobra, the uh, Galarian Corsola, Galarian Lanoon, Senta Scourge, Boltund, Decidueye, V Eldegoss, and a Yamper. So not our best pack, but we still have three to go, so I cannot complain. Uh, we've gotten some cool stuff so far, so uh, again, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I'm glad that we got the uh, the Amazing Rare Revolt all. It's a super clean card. I would love the Kyogre. I absolutely love the design of that card. Like, I think it's one of the most pretty cards. Um, they've come out in, within a little bit, to be completely honest. So. Go ahead and get our third to the last pack opened up, which is awesome. Some of these cards I've op actually opened pretty well, so I'm going to keep them. We're going to have a double Mr. Mime, Galar, Milsiri, uh, what looks to be the Rusted Sword, Greedent, Glimwood Tangle, Suicune, Galarian Corsola, and V Crobat, which is cool, as well as a Hollow Garboder. 
So very, very cool V. Um, hopefully, again, we have two more packs. We could pull something crazy. I would love to get that shiny V Mag Zard. Um, not holding my breath, though. I think that would be uh, pretty darn lucky on my end. So, uh, again, wouldn't be, <laughs> you know, too flabbergasted to see that we didn't, in fact, end up getting that. But, again, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, gods want to smile down on me a little bit. We got Shnam on a bench, which is... Okay, I want to I wanna look at this card before I throw it to the side like it's nothing. I actually really like this card's um, art. I think it's actually really, really pretty. Uh, then we're going to have a... I don't always forget. Squovit. The Rusted Shield. Galarian Mr. Uh, Mr. Rhyme. Not Galarian Mr. Rhyme, but Mr. Rhyme. Zalmazenta. A Hollow Clefable. V. Cramorant. Big Phil. We do love us some Phil. I will sleeve these up after. I forgot to grab them. Um, I guess we can sleeve them as we look at them. And then we have our last pack of the day. Will we get that Zard? Will we get that random, you know, 1 600 God pack? Um, hopefully. That would be a pretty uh, insane way to end off the stream. That's for damn sure. I would uh, be ecstatic to have that on camera. And get that in a video as I'm opening this one right. I get this one. Uh, I opened this one pretty scuffed, but it's all good. Let me just go ahead and split this one open. No point in saving that wrapper. Um, and let's go ahead and look. So we have an Indeedee, so this definitely isn't the God Pack, but again, we could get something very, very cool. Galarian Darumaka. We're going to have Krooky, Orbeetle, some kind of energy. Oh, I saw something really cool. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ahaha. Ah, we have Appleton, Heatran, a shiny V full art Rillaboom. That is an amazing pull. <laughs> that thing is beautiful, actually. Goodness gracious. Hold on a second. Um, not my favorite shiny in the world, but a very, very cool card, and I like the art nonetheless. That's actually incredibly pretty. So... Let's go ahead and get out some sleeves because I totally forgot to before. Uh, what am I, a rookie? Come on. I mean, kind of, but it's all good. Uh, we can slowly go through these. So we have our V Rillaboom. Then we have our Big Phil. Uh, just sleeving up all the shinies and all the Vs pretty much uh, is the main way I'm looking at it. Uh, then we have our Cramorant. We have our, shine our, our regular V Crobat. I would actually love the shiny V Crobat. That would have been sick. Uh, we're gonna have our Eldegoss V. Let's pull out Big Core Scry, which is actually a really, really uh, pretty shiny thing. I'm upset with myself for not saving these during the video. Then we're gonna have our second shiny, or uh, our, our second shiny that we pulled, but our, um, what do you call it? Our shiny Sobble. Not our second shiny that we sleeve though. It's actually our third. We actually end up pulling four of them. We're gonna get our Toxtricity V. Our V Max sense of scorch. I would love to get another box of this stuff, man. <laughs> I would really love to. Maybe post Christmas or something like that. I'll buy a box or two, especially if they go down. We have an Indeed V. Let's go ahead and throw on our Toxtricity V. We have a, another full art Marnie. I'm just the full art Marnie guy, apparently. Uh, so that's very, very pretty. We have our Ditto V. And then we have our amazing year, rare Yveltz also. Another amazing rare thing. I uh, I pulled a Rayquaza and a Raikou from the Vivid Voltage set. The, the US set, obviously. Then we're going to have our Eternatus V, our second one of those. I have another one of those uh, just from the Eternatus bo box. And then we have our Nicket. So let's go ahead do a quick little recap. As I, I don't want to like squish these as I try and like get them in the line. Um, there we go. Okay. So, in recap, we have our Shiny Nicket, our Eternatus V, our Amazing Rare Yveltal, Ditto V, Marnie, uh, full art with uh, the Champions Cup. Uh, I think, is it is it Champions Cup or Galar, World, uh, Galar Star Tour or whatever um, outfit being a full art. Our Toxtricity V Max, Ndidi V, our Center Scorch V Max, Toxtricity V, our Shiny Sobble, Shiny Corvus Squire. Eldegoss V, our Crobat V, our Cramorant V, and then our shiny Full Art V Rillaboom. All very, very cool stuff. I'm definitely happy with these pulls, especially this is one box. And I think that's so cool that um, Japan, you know, how, how juiced their packs are and how uh, much easier it is just to get cool stuff, even if it kind of tanks the value, I suppose. Um, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards. I was like, genuinely excited about it. My thing buffers, I apologize. So 
yeah, that's basically gonna be our polls for today's video. All right, so I know I said I was ending off the video, but um, it turns out these cool little code cards, let me pull up one that's already been used because I'm gonna show off the other ones at the end. Um, these cool little code cards that come in the thing, I uh, I knew they had some kind of use um, in game actually, opposed to, you know, like a TCG online app. Um, and it turns out the Japanese codes, they have like a cool promotional thing going on where um, if you enter enough of these codes, you can get a bunch of these, uh, you know, mythical type Pokemon just thrown right into your game, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I think it's cool that they have some way to, you know, incentivize people to play not only the TCG, but obviously the in-game and stuff like that. Um, I wish that, you know, the American company would do that, but it's honestly all good. Uh, but I wanted to show off, you know, us grabbing these codes because since we, you know, picked up eight packs and it's like four points a pack, we're actually going to be able to redeem everything at this point. Um, and first up is going to be this Genesect. I'll probably just cut in between us receiving these gifts, but, um, this is obviously really, really cool. Uh, and again, if you don't know the Pokemon that are in it, I guess I kind of showed it on the card, but, um, pretty cool stuff. We're still going to look at it nonetheless. Um, so that'll obviously be pretty dope. Uh, we're going to see our Genesect right there. Okay. And then there's probably going to be a little cut and we'll jump into the next one. And second, we have some Dynite Ore, nothing too crazy. It'll probably just, you know, obviously show me getting a cool little box, I guess. And going uh, right from there. I know the Dynite Ore, that's the, um, what do you call it? Isn't Dynite Ore the one from the Crown Thunder, the one that's hard to get because you have to do a bunch of raids and this take forever, but you know, still pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and jump onto the next one though. All right, next we have some items. Um, it looks like it's just a bunch of different Pokeballs, which is cool. Um, it's always nice to have different, you know, kinds of balls just to throw your mon, throw at your mons. Uh, if you know, you know more of that aesthetic kind of thing. And again, like I can gen, so like this isn't the craziest thing in the world, uh, but it's still really cool. Um, and it's uh, great to incentivize other people. So not too many Pokeballs, unfortunately. They were, they were kind of skimpy on it. They said, now you get one fastball, one level, and one love. Um, still pretty cool though. Uh, and let's go on to the next one. All right, and next up we have Bull Canyon. This is gonna be the second mythical that they're actually going to be giving out in this set, which again, pretty dope, we'll take it. So we'll see big bulk. Uh, it'd be cool if they like release this uh, and the next Pokemon, like if they give these out shiny. Um, I think that'd be super dope because this is a Mon that isn't released shiny. There's a TCG card for the shiny version, but not actually anything in game that is legal. So we end up getting Bull Canyon. Let's go and jump on into the next gift. All right, so next, it looks like we're getting some more Pokeballs. Um, one of each once again, but I think we're going to get some cool stuff. Uh, one of my favorite Pokeballs, actually, personally. Um, two of my favorite Pokeballs, actually. I really like the, um, well, I guess we'll wait for, like, you know, drum roll it up. But um, the Lure Ball and the Moon Ball. I really, really like the Moon Ball, and I like the Lure Ball as well. Um, so definitely some cool stuff. Uh, next code, though. So it looks like what we're going to have, what's going to be our last Pokemon that they're going to give out. They're going to give out Big Marshadow. Um, almost what, I guess you'd call him the captain of our BBL team. Our first overall pick in our Ubers draft league that we're doing right now. Uh, ridiculous Mon. Uh, really, really strong. And honestly, just a really cool design. Um, I like that it's, you know, something that's ridiculously strong and really good. Uh, but it still has, a, like, you know, that little cute vibe to him. So, shouts out to Marshadow. Uh, I think we have two more boxes you know, entailing Pokeballs. So let's go ahead and jump into those and then we'll take a look at the Pokemon that we end up getting. All right, so next up, this is just going to be two separate Pokeballs, um, but one of them is actually super, super cool. I mean, both are cool of them, but one of them I'm uh, I'm actually uh, pretty hyped about. I think it's pretty dope. So we're gonna wait for the mystery gift to open up. And we get a Safari Ball and a Sport Ball. The Sport Ball is cool, but I really like the Safari Ball. And I think that's cool, um, you know, getting that in a game that Obviously, Safari Balls don't exist up to this point, so. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. We got one more code, and I think you can probably guess the uh, Pokeball that it's going to be. Um, but regardless, we'll cut to that really, really quick. And lastly, we have a Master Ball gift. They're going to give us one free full Master Ball. You can catch whatever it is you really need to catch. If you run into that shiny that you're playing against, or that you've been hunting for months, you're, some, you're hunting that shiny Beldum with its ridiculous couch trader, you finally get that shiny Reggie Lucky. Get the Master Ball to throw it if you already used it on like, you know, uh, your uh, Calyrex, like Shadow Rider, Ice Rider, I suppose. So that's obviously pretty dope. Uh, we're gonna make one more quick cut before the end of the video, because I want to show you guys the Pokemon that we ended up getting here in the, uh, in the Mystery Gifts. All right, so here are our uh, mythical Pokemon that we ended up getting here. So we have the Genesect, obviously Bugsteel typing, download. It's not going to be like a guaranteed max IV thing either. 
Um, it looks like it's just three, like most typical legendaries. Um, so not the craziest thing in the world. Uh, we're gonna keep on looking. Maybe I should move my face cam to the bottom so we can see these moves that it ends up having. It has Felstinger. Does Genesect already get Felstinger? I don't know. That'd be something interesting to look up. So that's gonna be at least the Genesect. I'm gonna move down. I wanna see these things IV. Um, so we're gonna have best in, we have a neutral nature with best in our special attack, attack, and speed, so just mixed offensive volcano, but we don't want to take away from the bulk, obviously. Um, water absorb is the ability, obviously. Steam eruption, flare blitz, incinerate, haze, so we got the signature steam eruption, which is pretty dope. And then lastly, we have marshadow, which has best in HP, um, special attack, and speed. Is that timid, or is that brave? Either way. Pretty, pretty awful. Um, as for Muzi, a special three drain punch, a force pump, and a shadow sneak. It's timid. You got a timid Marshadow. I might have to pull up a nasty plot Marshadow. I actually don't even think he gets nasty plot, to be completely honest. Um, but very, very cool stuff. Uh, I think this is really cool how the Pokemon company does this over, uh, you know, in the Japanese side of things. What I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger. Boop. Um, I'm going to have two codes right here. It's obviously first come, first serve. I will say I'm going to link a video in the description below that I watched in order to, like, figure out how to do this. Um, you do have to set up a Japanese Pokemon Club account, um, kind of thing, uh, through their website. And it, there was a very easy video that, you know, helped explain to me. I'm the dumbest guy in the world, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, so I obviously don't do this unless you're, you know, 18 or, you know, you, you can make your own account like that. You know, obviously don't go out and, you know, break the rules, do it. But it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. I'll leave the link in the description below on what I did. Um, big shouts out to, I forget, it was Clefairy something, the YouTuber that did it. Um, but they made a really good video on it, and I think they have a pretty lower sub count. So if you want to go over and drop a sub, uh, you know, tell them, good work, great video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so I have two codes right here that I didn't end up needing to use because I had enough points to, you know, get all of the things regardless. Um, I think that this will only really get you a few items and the Genesect if you get both of them. Uh, but just one of them will get you the Genesect. I think the first code that you insert will give you enough for Genesect. These are both going to be worth four points. I think you get to a max of 30 for this promotion. Um, but yeah, that being said, we're going to throw up our first code. Oh my goodness, it's not going to be the best. Um, there we go. I think that's good. And then we're going to say that's, that's all, those are two Ys at the bottom of the, um, the right of the screen, not Ts. Sorry, my camera kind of sucks, so it's going to be a little bit scuffed as in, uh, you know, being able to read it. And then we're going to throw our second code on the screen. That one actually is coming a little bit better. So A, 4, C, M, X, C, U, M, uh, M, 2, X, 4, A, Q, U, 4. So, I'll set these aside as if they're used. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really cool video. Um, I kind of want to buy another box of the shiny star v and i can show off the codes as i open them up now since i've you know completely uh you know used this uh, promotion to its fullest at this point so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching again drop a sub if you're new drop a like on the video if you enjoyed uh, if you want to see me do more card opening stuff like that it's something i've just I've definitely just started to dabble into but it's something i'm really really enjoying i have a lot of fun doing it uh you know as a nice breath of fresh air from our usual you know super serious competitive pokemon content um, but if you enjoy that stuff too, obviously that's going to be your main focus over here. So if you want to see draft league battles, you know, smoke on tier battles, um, shirt on lives, uh, discussion videos, I have a really cool, um, idea in the works as for like, um, uh, like a really cool analytical type series that I really want to start up soon. Hopefully I can get that going. Uh, but if you enjoy that kind of stuff, be sure to drop a sub and, uh, yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.